Bruce Willis, the actor known for his tough guy roles and memorable one-liners, was born on March 19, 1955, in Idar Oberstein, Germany. Raised in New Jersey, Willis worked a series of odd jobs before finding his calling as a performer. After landing several small roles in television and film, Willis got his big break in 1988 with the hit action movie Die Hard. As John McClane, an off-duty cop battling terrorists in a Los Angeles skyscraper, Willis proved his leading man credentials and solidified his status as an action star. Over the next three decades, Willis would appear in numerous films, including Pulp Fiction, The Fifth Element, and The Sixth Sense. He became known for his dry wit and ability to balance humor with drama, making him a favorite among audiences and critics alike. In addition to his work in film, Willis has also lent his talents to television and stage, earning critical acclaim for his performances in shows like Moonlighting and Friends. He has been nominated for several awards, including a Golden Globe and an Emmy, and has won numerous accolades throughout his career. Despite facing personal challenges and industry shifts, Willis has remained a constant presence in Hollywood, continuing to take on new roles and challenge himself as an actor. His contributions to the world of entertainment have left an indelible mark, and his legacy will no doubt continue to inspire future generations of performers. Bruce Willis is a beloved actor, known for his tough guy roles and striking personality. You might recognize him from the Die Hard series or films like Pulp Fiction and The Sixth Sense. But did you know that Bruce once worked as a private investigator before becoming an actor? Or that he has a fear of spiders? Throughout his career, Bruce has given us countless unforgettable moments on the big screen. Do you have a favorite memory or personal experience related to this classic star? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In this video, you'll discover many surprising facts about Bruce Willis, from his early days as a struggling actor to his rise to fame and beyond. You'll learn about his lesser known roles, his personal life, and the challenges he's faced along the way. From funny anecdotes to shocking revelations, this video has it all. So, keep watching to learn more about the one and only Bruce Willis. Born on a chilly March day in 1955, Bruce Willis, in a small town in New Jersey, was the eldest of four children. His father, a skilled welder, and mother, a bank clerk, instilled in him the value of hard work and discipline. The actor's childhood was far from glamorous, but it shaped him into the person he would become. Willis's early exposure to acting came during his high school years when he participated in school plays. He was drawn to the stage, finding solace in the spotlight. After high school, Willis briefly attended Montclair State University, where he studied drama, but his passion for acting led him to leave college and pursue his dream in New York City. In the bustling streets of New York, Willis faced numerous rejections and financial struggles. However, he remained determined and honed his craft at various acting classes. It was during this time that he met his mentor, renowned acting teacher Stella Adler, who recognized his potential and became a significant influence in his career. Adler's teachings emphasized the importance of emotional connection and truthfulness in acting. Willis embraced these principles, which would later become the cornerstone of his acting style. He began appearing in off-Broadway productions and eventually landed minor roles in television shows and films. In the late 1980s, Willis's career took a turn for the better when he was cast in the groundbreaking television series Moonlighting. Playing the charming and quick-witted private investigator, David Addison, Willis quickly became a household name. His charisma and comedic timing captivated audiences, and his career skyrocketed. Despite his newfound fame, Willis remained grounded and continued to seek out challenging roles. In 1988, he starred in the now classic action film Die Hard, which would become a defining moment in his career. As the toughest nails New York cop, John McClane, Willis proved his versatility as an actor and solidified his status as an action star. Throughout his career, Willis has continued to push boundaries and explore various genres. From romantic comedies to thought-provoking dramas, the actor has left an indelible mark on the film industry. His ability to connect with audiences and deliver powerful performances has made him a beloved figure in Hollywood. In conclusion, Bruce Willis's upbringing, early exposure to acting, and the guidance of his mentor, Stella Adler, played pivotal roles in shaping his successful career. 
His determination, versatility, and commitment to his craft have solidified his place as a legendary actor in the film industry. Bruce Willis, a name synonymous with action-packed films, has built an impressive filmography throughout his career. Among his most known projects are the Die Hard series, Pulp Fiction in the Sixth Sense. For those new to his work, starting with the Die Hard series is recommended. This classic franchise follows the story of John McClane, a New York City cop who finds himself in the middle of various terrorist attacks. Willis' portrayal of McClane showcases his ability to balance toughness with humor, making for an entertaining experience. Pulp Fiction, directed by Quentin Tarantino, is another must-watch. This film, known for its non-linear storyline and memorable dialogue, features Willis as a boxer who becomes entangled in a web of crime. His performance in this film showcases his range as an actor. Lastly, The Sixth Sense is a thrilling watch. In this film, Willis plays a child psychologist who tries to help a young boy who claims to see ghosts. The film's twist ending has become iconic and is sure to leave a lasting impression. Overall, Bruce Willis' filmography is filled with classic films that showcase his talent and versatility as an actor. Whether you're a fan of action, drama, or thriller films, there's something for everyone in his work. As a child, Bruce Willis was already drawn to the world of acting. He would put on shows for his family, using props and costumes to bring his characters to life. This early passion led him to pursue drama in high school, where he honed his craft and discovered his love for being on stage. A pivotal experience for Willis came when he was cast in a small role in the off-Broadway production of Heaven and Earth. Although his part was minor, he was determined to make an impact. He arrived early to every rehearsal, memorized his lines quickly, and took direction well. His dedication paid off, and he received praise from the show's director and cast members. This experience fueled Willis' desire to become a professional actor. He moved to New York City and began auditioning for roles, eventually landing a part in the hit television series Moonlighting. The show's success launched Willis' career, and he went on to become one of the biggest action stars of the 1980s and 1990s. Willis' passion for acting has never waned. He continues to take on challenging roles and push himself as an artist. His dedication to his craft is evident in every performance, making him a beloved figure in the world of film and television. In the popular 80s show Moonlighting, Bruce Willis played the role of David Addison Jr., where he co-starred with the equally challenging Sybil Shepherd. During the filming of the smooth criminal segment for Moonwalker, Willis visited the set, accompanied by other notable figures such as Gregory Peck and Robert De Niro. Moving on to the player, Willis took on the role of himself, interacting with Andy McDowell, who was seen mingling with Richard E. Grant. The two had previously worked together in Hudson Hawk. In a later scene, Grant dismissively reacted to the suggestion of casting Willis in the film he was pitching, but later approved of him in the final product. This classic example of self-deprecating humor showcases Willis's ability to poke fun at himself and his previous roles, adding depth and nuance to his on-screen persona. The actor's willingness to engage in such playful banter with his co-stars highlights his versatility and ease in navigating different genres and acting styles. Born in 1955, Bruce Willis faced numerous obstacles on his path to becoming a successful actor. Financial struggles were a constant companion during his early years. To make ends meet, he worked as a security guard and a bartender. However, these jobs did more than just pay the bills. They provided him with valuable insights into human behavior, which he later used in his acting career. In the competitive world of Hollywood, industry skepticism towards Bruce Willis was palpable. His rugged good looks didn't fit the mold of a leading man, and he wasn't classically trained at an esteemed drama school. But instead of letting this discourage him, Willis used it as fuel to prove them wrong. His breakthrough role in the TV series Moonlighting not only showcased his comedic timing, but also challenged the traditional image of a leading man. This unconventional path paved the way for his iconic action roles in films like Die Hard, where he brought a new level of vulnerability and humanity to the genre. Despite the odds, Bruce Willis' resilience and creativity shone through. He transformed financial struggles into character-building experiences and turned industry skepticism into motivation. His journey serves as a testament to the power of persistence and believing in oneself, even when others don't. 
In the film 12 Monkeys, the actor Bruce Willis willingly accepted a lower salary to work with director Terry Gilliam, even going so far as to forego payment until after the movie's release. In The Story of Us, the actor had previously worked with Rita Wilson in The Bonfire of the Vanities in North, both directed by Rob Rainer. When cast as John McClane in Die Hard, the actor faced challenges beyond being a TV star and filming schedule conflicts due to his co-star's pregnancy. Despite these obstacles, he secured the iconic role. The actor's dedication to his craft and willingness to take risks for the sake of art are noteworthy. His performances in these films, among many others, have left a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. In 1985, Bruce Willis, a relatively unknown actor, landed a role in the television series Moonlighting. This show marked a turning point in his career as it not only brought him to the attention of a wider audience, but also allowed him to showcase his comedic timing. Co-star Sybil Shepard praised their on-screen chemistry, stating, we just clicked, and it was magic. The actor's first major breakthrough in film came with the 1988 release of Die Hard. As an action hero, Willis captivated audiences with his tough, yet vulnerable portrayal of John McClane. Critics and collaborators alike took notice of his performance. Director John McTiernan shared, Bruce brought a humanity to the role that made it truly iconic. In 1994, Willis took on a more dramatic role in Pulp Fiction, which further solidified his status as a versatile actor. Director Quentin Tarantino lauded his performance, stating, Bruce proved he could handle anything I threw at him, and his work in this film is nothing short of brilliant. Throughout his career, Bruce Willis has continued to challenge himself with diverse roles, leaving an indelible mark on the film industry. His ability to balance action and comedy, along with his undeniable charisma, has solidified his place as a beloved figure in cinema. Bruce Willis has often expressed that his favorite role is that of John McClane in the Die Hard series. In the first film, he improvised the now iconic line high, honey at the end, when Hans is holding Holly hostage. This casual, off-the-cuff delivery added a layer of realism to the character, making McClane more relatable and endearing to audiences. Moving on to another film, Color of Night, released in 1994, Bruce Willis's performance included some of the best sex scenes ever in film history, according to Maxim Magazine. These scenes were not only integral to the plot, but also highlighted Willis's ability to portray complex emotions and relationships on screen. In both Die Hard and Color of Night, Willis demonstrated his versatility as an actor, delivering compelling performances that resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on the film industry. His ability to bring authenticity and depth to his characters has solidified his place as a beloved figure in cinema. Bruce Willis, known for his tough guy persona, has had a successful career in film and television. His artistic vision is often centered around action and suspense with a unique ability to balance intensity and humor. Willis once mentioned that he approaches his work with a go-for-it attitude, which is evident in his willingness to perform daring stunts and his commitment to authenticity in his roles. The actor's personal experiences have influenced his work, particularly his military background. Having served in the German military, Willis brings a sense of discipline and precision to his action roles. This is seen in films like Die Hard, where his character, John McClane, is a resourceful and tenacious New York cop who saves the day against all odds. Willis' worldview is also reflected in his work, often showcasing a strong sense of morality and justice. He has a knack for playing characters who are flawed yet relatable, making them all the more compelling to audiences. The actor's creative process is a collaborative one, working closely with directors, writers, and other cast members to bring his characters to life. Willis has stated that he enjoys working on projects that challenge him and push him out of his comfort zone. In recent years, Willis has taken on more nuanced roles in independent films, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Despite his success, he remains humble and dedicated to his craft, always striving to improve and take on new challenges. In conclusion, Bruce Willis' artistic vision and process are characterized by his commitment to authenticity, his unique blend of intensity and humor, and his willingness to take on new challenges. His personal experiences and worldview are reflected in his work, making him a truly unique and compelling actor in the world of film and television. In the film 12 Monkeys, the actor portrays James Cole. 
There's a montage in the movie where animals roam free in Philadelphia, and one shot shows elephants running along the concourse of Franklin Field. Interestingly, this location is also featured in Unbreakable, where the actor's character works as a security guard. Throughout his career, the actor has been cast by 15 directors at least twice in their feature films. These directors include Blake Edwards, Amy Heckerling, Rob Reiner, Robert Benton, John McTiernan, Alan Rudolph, M. Night Shyamalan, Quentin Tarantino, Robert Rodriguez, Sylvester Stallone, Brian A. Miller, Stephen C. Miller, Matt Eskandari, Edward Drake, and Barry Levinson. In the film Death Becomes Her, the actor plays the character Ernest Menville. During the production, the actor suggested two title ideas for the film It's Death, Baby, and My Man Death. Ultimately, the title Death Becomes Her was chosen for this classic. Bruce Willis, an actor who revolutionized the action genre, is known for his tough guy persona and unique charm. His groundbreaking performance in the classic Die Hard series showcased a new kind of hero, one who was vulnerable and human, yet still capable of extraordinary feats. Willis' impact can be seen in the countless action stars that followed in his footsteps. As industry expert, Tom Ogden states, Willis brought a level of humanity to the action genre that was previously unseen. He proved that you don't have to be invincible to be a hero, and that's a legacy that has influenced countless films and filmmakers since. The actor's influence extends beyond just the action genre. His ability to balance comedy and drama in films like Moonlighting and The Whole Nine Yards demonstrated his versatility as a performer. Willis' impact on storytelling is evident in the way modern action films incorporate humor and character development, rather than just relying on special effects and stunts. Actor Seth Gordon, who is inspired by Willis, notes, Bruce showed us that you can be a badass and still have a heart. He brought a level of depth to his characters that was revolutionary, and it's something that I strive for in my own work. In addition to his influence on storytelling, Willis has also left his mark on the film industry through his contributions to independent cinema. Films like Moonrise Kingdom and Looper showcase his willingness to take on challenging roles and support innovative filmmakers. Willis' influence can also be seen in the way he has paved the way for older actors to continue to thrive in the industry. His success in action films well into his 60s has challenged the stereotype that action stars must be young and invincible. In conclusion, Bruce Willis' impact on the film industry is undeniable. His contributions to the action genre, his influence on storytelling, and his support of independent cinema have left a lasting legacy. As we continue to see actors follow in his footsteps, it's clear that Willis' influence will resonate for generations to come. In the film 12 Monkeys, Bruce Willis, as James Cole, makes a striking statement around the one hour and three minute mark, all I see are dead people. This eerie remark bears a close resemblance to a famous line from The Sixth Sense, where Haley Joel Osment's character reveals his sixth sense to Willis's character, saying, I see dead people. In the TV show Moonlighting, Willis was the very last of about 3,000 actors to audition for the role of David Addison. Junior, his successful casting added to the show's charm and success. In Armageddon, the actor played Harry S. Stamper. This film and Deep Impact had a tense rivalry with both projects being filmed around the same time. Michael Bay, the director of Armageddon, made an unfavorable comparison between Teolini's star power and Willis's. This led to Leonie's comment that Bay's statement was so Michael, and she questioned how firing guns could defeat an asteroid. When Deep Impact opened strongly at the box office, Paramount, the studio behind Armageddon, pointed out the problems their rival film was having. In response, Willis inadvertently revealed that new scenes were being filmed in Europe and Asia, which had not been previously disclosed. Bruce Willis, a beloved actor known for his tough guy roles, values spending quality time with his family. He has five children and has been married twice. Family is so important to him that he often brings his kids to film sets. In addition to his love for family, Willis has a passion for music. He plays the harmonica and has even released a few albums. This love for music often finds its way into his films, such as The Whole Nine Yards, where he plays a character who aspires to be a lounge singer. Willis is also known for his philanthropic efforts. He is a dedicated supporter of the Charity Children's Hospice and Palliative Care Coalition. This organization provides care and support for children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. 
Willis has been involved with the organization for many years and has even served as a spokesperson. Another cause close to Willis Hart is the Wounded Warrior Project, which supports injured veterans and their families. Willis has been a longtime supporter of the military and has visited troops overseas to show his appreciation. Willis' personal values and interests, such as family, music, and giving back to the community, often find their way into his work. His dedication to his family and his charitable efforts demonstrate his compassionate and caring nature, which contrasts with the tough guy characters he often portrays on screen. Bruce Willis gained fame for his role as John McClane in the action film Die Hard. Interestingly, Willis tied the knot with Demi Moore at the Golden Nugget Hotel in Las Vegas during the film shoot. Moore had recently ended her engagement to Emilio Estevez. Little Richard officiated the ceremony, and Ally Sheedy, a former Brat Pack member, was a bridesmaid. In addition to his acting career, Willis is also a musician. He formed a band called Bruce Willis and the Accelerators. In 2002, the band went on a significant tour, performing in 15 cities. Willis also starred in the science fiction film 12 Monkeys, directed by Terry Gilliam. Due to his negative experiences with the studio during the filming of Brazil, Gilliam insisted on having final cut privileges. The studio agreed, but only if Willis was cast, ensuring a strong opening weekend and a smaller budget. As a result, many actors accepted lower fees and production designers had to be resourceful, often using inexpensive materials and shooting in abandoned buildings. For instance, the insane asylum scenes were filmed in Eastern State Penitentiary, a disused prison in Philadelphia. Bruce Willis, a name synonymous with action-packed films and thrilling performances, has left an indelible mark in the film industry. With a career spanning over four decades, the actor has captivated audiences worldwide through his diverse range of roles. From the iconic John McClane in the Die Hard series to his vulnerable portrayal in The Sixth Sense, Willis has proven his versatility and adaptability. Throughout his career, Willis has consistently delivered compelling performances that have resonated with audiences. His ability to balance humor and intensity has made him a beloved figure in the industry. Moreover, his willingness to take on challenging roles has allowed him to showcase his range as an actor, further solidifying his legacy. As for the future, Willis has expressed his desire to continue working in the industry and exploring new opportunities. In recent years, he has expanded his horizons by taking on roles in independent films and television shows. This willingness to experiment and step out of his comfort zone is a testament to his enduring passion for the craft. When it comes to aspiring professionals in the field, Willis offers some valuable advice. He encourages them to stay true to themselves and not be afraid to take risks. Always be yourself and don't try to imitate anyone else, he says. Take risks and don't be afraid to fail. It's all part of the journey. Furthermore, Willis emphasizes the importance of hard work and dedication. You have to put in the work and never give up. He advises, success doesn't come overnight and you have to be willing to put in the time and effort to achieve your goals. In conclusion, Bruce Willis' legacy in the film industry is one of versatility, adaptability, and enduring passion. As he continues to explore new opportunities and take on challenging roles, he serves as an inspiration to aspiring professionals in the field. By staying true to oneself, taking risks, and putting in the hard work, anyone can achieve their goals and leave their mark on the industry. In Die Hard with a Vengeance, Bruce Willis' character, John McClane, makes a casual reference to passing time by smoking cigarettes and watching Captain Kangaroo. Interestingly, in the 1994 film Pulp Fiction, Willis' character can be seen driving while singing along to Flowers on the Wall, a song that includes those very same lyrics. Moving on to Armageddon, Willis starred alongside several actors who had also appeared in Breakfast of Champions, a 1999 film. This includes Will Patton, Michael Clark Duncan, Owen Wilson, Ken Hudson Campbell, and Shawnee Smith. The Last Boy Scout is another notable role for Willis. The film's composer, Michael Kamen, initially disliked it. However, his personal relationships with Willis and producer Joel Silver led him to score the movie despite his initial reservations. This just goes to show the strong bonds that can form during the making of a film, even when the final product may not initially meet everyone's expectations. Born in 1955, Bruce Willis, a name synonymous with action-packed films, 
embarked on his journey in the entertainment industry with a passion for acting. He started on television, but it was his big screen debut in the classic film Die Hard that catapulted him to stardom. Willis brought a unique blend of toughness and vulnerability to his roles, often playing characters with a strong moral compass. His innovative approach to acting, combined with his undeniable charm, made him a favorite among audiences worldwide. Throughout his career, Willis has shown his versatility, excelling in various genres, from action to comedy and drama. He's worked with renowned directors and actors, leaving an indelible mark on the film industry. Despite facing challenges along the way, Willis' perseverance and creativity have allowed him to transcend boundaries and deliver captivating performances. His work continues to resonate with audiences, a testament to his enduring impact on the entertainment landscape. In the end, Bruce Willis' journey serves as a powerful reminder of the potential that lies within each of us. With passion, innovation, and perseverance, we too can leave our mark and contribute to the rich tapestry of human creativity. After his breakout role in the first Die Hard movie, Bruce Willis went on to work with several actors who had been considered for his part as John McClane. These include Don Johnson in No Exit, Richard Gere in The Jackal, Michael Madsen in Sin City, and both Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone in The Expendables and The Expendables 2. In The Last Boy Scout, Willis starred alongside Damon Wayans, with production marred by conflicts between the actor, director Tony Scott, and producer Joel Silver. Silver described the making of the film as one of the three worst experiences of his life. While Scott spoke about the misery of working under Silver and Willis, who took over the production and altered parts of Shane Black's script. Known for his political activism, Bruce Willis has publicly supported various major Republican candidates in recent history, with the exception of Bob Dole. The actor took issue with Dole's criticism of Demi Moore and her role in the movie striptease, leading to his vocal opposition to the presidential candidate. Conflicts and political stances aside, Bruce Willis remains a prominent figure in the film industry, with a career marked by iconic roles and enduring performances. After attending Montclair State University in Montclair, New Jersey, Bruce Willis became known for his role as John McClane in the Die Hard series. The original screenplay, titled Troubleshooter, featured terrorists seizing control of a Caribbean cruise ship during John and Holly's honeymoon. However, this idea was abandoned in favor of a new script by John Milius, which was set in a jungle but ultimately rejected. In 1993, Doug Richardson and John Fasano worked on separate Die Hard 3 scripts. Richardson's script involved terrorists taking control of the Los Angeles subway system to burglarize the Federal Reserve, while Fasano's script had McLean pursuing kidnappers who had abducted his teenage daughter. Although both scripts were rejected, elements from Richardson's script were reused in the ending of Speed and the original script for Money Train. Willis has named Robert De Niro, Gary Cooper, Steve McQueen, and John Wayne as his acting idols. His career has been influenced by these classic actors and he has continued to inspire new generations of performers with his iconic roles. Despite facing numerous rejections and setbacks, Willis's determination and talent have solidified his place as a respected and admired figure in the film industry. Bruce Willis, a well-known actor, became a grandfather in April 2023 when his daughter Rumor Willis and her boyfriend, Derek Richard Thomas, welcomed a baby girl named Loetta Eiley Thomas Willis. Interestingly, both Willis and his ex-wife Demi Moore had young mothers. Demi's mother was just 18 when she had her, and Bruce's mother was 19 when he was born. One of Willis' most iconic roles is that of John McClane in the 1988 film Die Hard. A 2014 article at Grantland discussed the Action Hero Championship belt, highlighting Willis' work in this movie. The writers, both in their 40s, pointed out an interesting generational divide regarding the film's pacing. While younger viewers, including their children, enjoyed the movie, they wondered why the action didn't start right away. The older viewers explained that a slower build-up was common in films from the 1980s, often setting the stage for fast-paced sequences in various genres. This classic film remains a favorite among many, showcasing Willis' ability to captivate audiences with his charismatic performance and action-packed scenes. Even today, Die Hard resonates with viewers of different age groups making it a timeless piece in the annals of action movie history. After graduating from Penns Grove High School in New Jersey, where he was raised, Bruce Willis was voted most school spirit by his classmates. 
In the film The Last Boy Scout, Willis portrayed Joe Hallenbeck, and years later, he would star alongside Hal Berry in Perfect Stranger. In Die Hard with a Vengeance, Willis reprised his iconic role as John McClane. Due to the dangerous nature of filming car scenes, a stuntman drove the cab while Willis pretended to drive in the front. Directed by John McTiernan, the film showcases Willis's action prowess, which has captivated audiences for decades. In the world of action movies, Bruce Willis is a name that often comes to mind. The actor is known for his support of other actors, even going so far as to advocate for them to be given roles in his films. This was the case with Michael Clark Duncan, whom Willis met on the set of The Whole Nine Yards, and later recommended for roles in Armageddon and The Green Mile. Willis is perhaps best known for his role as John McClane in the Die Hard series. Originally, the character of McClane was written as a typical 1980s action hero, but director John McTiernan had something different in mind. He wanted an average guy in the role, and Willis fit the bill. The actor's comedic talents were also put to use, with much of the script's humor tailored to Willis' strengths. One memorable scene in Die Hard shows McClane running through shattered glass in his bare feet. In reality, Willis was wearing special rubber shoes designed to look like his own feet. This was done to protect the actor's feet, while still giving the appearance of him running barefoot. In addition to his work in Die Hard, Willis has also made appearances on popular TV shows, such as Friends, at the request of actors he has worked with. It's clear that Willis is not only a talented actor, but also a supportive and generous colleague. In the 1990s, the actor Bruce Willis took on two memorable roles that revolved around psychologists dealing with work-related emotional trauma. The first was Dr. Bill Coppa in the 1994 film Color of Night, which unfortunately was a box office bomb and received harsh criticism from reviewers. However, it gained more popularity in the home video market. Contrastingly, his second role as Dr. Malcolm Crow in the 1999 film The Sixth Sense was a major success, garnering several Oscar nominations, including Best Picture. Before becoming a well-known actor, Willis and Linda Fiorentino worked together as bartenders in the early 1980s at the Kamikaze Club in New York City. In the 1996 film Last Man Standing, Willis portrayed John Smith, a character who found himself in the midst of a violent turf war. Coincidentally, Willis and Ken Jenkins also starred together in the 1989 film In Country. Quentin Tarantino holds a strong opinion regarding Bruce Willis' career-defining performance in the 2000 film, Unbreakable. According to Tarantino, this role stands as Willis' best to date. In an interesting turn of events, the Fox Plaza, which serves as Nakatomi Plaza in the Die Hard series, can be spotted in an earlier stage of construction during Willis' first movie, Blind Date, released in 1987. The building is visible from David's office window at approximately one hour, three minutes, and 40 seconds into the film. Before Bruce Willis became synonymous with the role of John McClane in Die Hard, 20th Century Fox had considered John Travolta for the part. However, Travolta's career was not in a favorable light at the time, leading the studio to deem him a has-been. Despite missing out on Die Hard, Travolta and Willis would later collaborate in the Look Who's Talking films in Pulp Fiction. In the classic film Die Hard, the costume department had 17 undershirts in various stages of degradation on hand for Bruce Willis, who played the iconic character John McClane. These worn-out undershirts were a testament to the physical demands of the role and the character's resilience. Interestingly, the scar on Willis' right shoulder is from surgery due to complications from a broken arm he suffered when he was 17 years old. This physical scar added to the ruggedness of his on-screen persona and made John McClane even more relatable to audiences. The essence of Willis' stardom is his irreverence, particularly in action-packed scenes. As director John McTiernan stated, that irreverence is what we seem to love about him when somebody's pointing a gun right between his eyes. And he goes, oops. This smart alecky attitude is what makes Willis' characters endearing and memorable. McTiernan also speculates that Willis' divorce may have brought out the great actor we see in The Sixth Sense. This film showcases Willis' ability to convey deep emotion and vulnerability, adding another layer to his on-screen persona. In summary, Bruce Willis' physical and emotional range has made him a beloved figure in the film industry. From his ruggedness and die hard to his vulnerability in The Sixth Sense, Willis has proven himself to be a versatile and enduring actor. Bruce Willis' performance as John McClane in the Die Hard trilogy is highly regarded, 
ranking number 46 on Premier Magazine's 100 Greatest Movie Characters of All Time. The actor's portrayal of the tough and resourceful character has left a significant mark in the action genre. In addition, Willis was considered for the role of Henry Miller in the 1990 film Henry and June, but the part ultimately went to Fred Ward. Both actors later appeared in The Player in 1992, although they did not share any scenes together. Furthermore, the actor's box office success in the 1990s was undeniable. He ranked number three in Star TV's top 10 box office stars of the 1990s, demonstrating his widespread popularity during that time. This classic era of Bruce Willis' career remains memorable for many fans of his work. Bruce Willis, known for his role as John McClane in the Die Hard series, was actually born in the former West Germany. An interesting fact about Willis is his support for the New York Jets NFL team. In addition to his acting career, Willis has also been involved in politics. He served as a delegate to the Republican National Convention in 1992 and was set to narrate a biographical film of previous presidents for the RNC in 2000. However, scheduling conflicts prevented him from doing so. Willis' love for football and political involvement show that he has a diverse range of interests beyond acting. His talent and versatility have made him a well-known figure in both the film industry and in the world of sports and politics. During the filming of The Story of Us, Bruce Willis, who played the role of Ben Jordan, was experiencing his own divorce from Demi Moore. This personal struggle undoubtedly added depth to his portrayal of a man going through a similar situation on screen. In the iconic film Die Hard, Willis's character, John McClane, is known for his toughness and quick wit. There are stories that some of Willis's lines, such as those during the scene where he pulls glass out of his feet, were ad-libbed. However, upon closer examination of the original script, it appears that Willis only slightly deviated from the written dialogue. This ability to make small adjustments to the script, while still staying true to the character, likely contributed to his casting in the lead role of Terry Gilliam's Twelve Monkeys. In Armageddon, Willis played the role of Harry Stamper, and his stunt double, Terry Jackson, had a near-death experience on set. A large piece of pipe hit Jackson on the head, but thankfully, he was wearing a hard hat. This incident highlights the dangers that can be involved in filmmaking, even for experienced professionals like Jackson. Throughout his career, Willis has proven himself to be a versatile actor, capable of handling both dramatic and action-packed roles with ease. His ability to bring depth and nuance to his characters, even in the face of personal challenges, has made him a beloved figure in the world of film. In the film Armageddon, Bruce Willis, playing the role of Harry Stamper, was provided with a second trailer equipped with a full-scale gym, costing an estimated $175,000. However, it was reportedly never used. This extravagant gesture speaks volumes about the actor's influence in Hollywood. In contrast, when Willis took on the iconic role of John McClane in Die Hard, he received a then-unprecedented fee of $5 million, approved by Fox president Rupert Murdoch. This substantial sum underscores the studio's faith in Willis' ability to deliver a compelling performance and draw audiences. Interestingly, Willis was also considered for the part of Kyle Reese in The Terminator, a role that eventually went to Michael Bean. Despite not securing this part, Willis' career continued to soar, solidifying his status as a leading man in action films. His near miss with The Terminator serves as a reminder that even successful actors like Willis face setbacks and competition in the industry. In Nicki Minaj's song, Your Love, the actor Bruce Willis is surprisingly mentioned. But this isn't the only time Willis has made headlines. His actions have often spoken louder than any lyrics. During the Iraq War, Willis was one of the few Hollywood celebrities to publicly voice his support. In 2003, he even offered one million of his own money for the capture of Saddam Hussein while visiting the troops. Unfortunately, military rules prevented the troops from accepting such a reward when Hussein was eventually captured. In 2004, Willis filed a lawsuit against Revolution Studios for unspecified damages. This was due to an injury he sustained during the filming of Tears of the Sun, a blow to his forehead, which he claimed caused extreme mental, physical, and emotional pain and suffering. These incidents show that Bruce Willis is not just an actor. He is also a man of action and conviction, unafraid to put his money where his mouth is. Whether it's supporting the troops or standing up for his rights, Willis has proven himself to be a force to be reckoned with both on and off the screen. 
in the 1988 action film Die Hard. Bruce Willis, as the protagonist John McClane, delivered the iconic line, yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. Interestingly, there was a disagreement between Willis and the director, John McTiernan, over the line's delivery. McTiernan preferred yippee ki -yay, while Willis argued for yippee ki -yay. After trying both versions, the now famous Yippie Kaye was chosenator moving on to his personal life. Bruce Willis married Demi Moore at the Golden Nugget Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Together, they had three daughters Rumor Willis, born on August 16, 1988, Scout Willis, born on July 20, 1991, and Talula Willis, born on February 3, 1994. Later in life, Willis married Emma Heming Willis, with whom he had two more daughters, Mabel Ray Willis, born on April 1, 2012, and Evelyn Penn Willis, born on May 5, 2014. In summary, Bruce Willis has had a successful career in film, including his iconic role in Die Hard and a fulfilling personal life with his two marriages and five daughters. In the film Last Man Standing, Bruce Willis portrayed John Smith. Interestingly, he and Christopher Walken had previously worked together in Pulp Fiction. In the blockbuster hit Armageddon, Willis took on the role of Harry Stamper. On the Criterion Collection DVD, there's a humorous moment where then Disney chairman Michael Eisner makes a surprise appearance on the space shuttle set. He jokingly informs Willis that he's been fired and replaced by Kevin Costner. Adding to his list of appearances, Willis was a guest at Demi Moore's wedding to Ashton Kutcher. Despite their divorce, he maintained a friendly relationship with his ex-wife, demonstrating his professionalism and respect for personal relationships. In The Sixth Sense, Bruce Willis portrayed Malcolm Crowe, a role he took on as part of a deal with Disney after causing another production to shut down. Willis received half of his usual salary for his work on this film, which explores the complex relationship between a psychologist and a young boy who can communicate with the dead. Moving on to Die Hard, Willis' character, John McClane, is an action hero known for his dark sense of humor. Willis drew inspiration for this role from real-life police officers who often use humor to cope with high-stress situations. Despite criticism of action heroes who joke around in films, Willis' portrayal of McClane feels authentic as he captures the essence of this type of gallows humor. Finally, in Armageddon, Willis played Harry Stamper, a role that required him to read from a list of demands written by the cast. Directed by Michael Bay, this film showcases Willis' ability to command the screen, even when sharing it with an ensemble cast. Throughout his career, Bruce Willis has proven himself to be a versatile actor, capable of tackling a wide range of roles with depth and nuance. From his iconic portrayal of John McClane to his haunting performance in The Sixth Sense, Willis continues to leave his mark on the film industry. Let's take a moment to appreciate the work of Bruce Willis, a actor who has left an indelible mark on the film industry. From his breakout role in the classic Die Hard series to his memorable performances in films like The Sixth Sense and Pulp Fiction, Willis has proven himself to be a versatile and captivating performer. Throughout his career, Willis has taken on a wide range of roles, showcasing his talent and range as an actor. In comedies, dramas, and action films alike, he has consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances. But Willis's contributions to the world of entertainment go beyond just his acting. He has also lent his voice to a number of animated projects and has even tried his hand at producing. As we look back on the career of this accomplished actor, it's clear that his impact on the film industry will be felt for years to come. So, let's hear your thoughts on Bruce Willis's work and legacy in the comments. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.